is this happening or this or this when you're using the NLA editor using multiple Mixamo animations I have some ideas here I'm going to download two Mixamo animations both with skins and without skins and you import your first one make sure that you name it then go to blender file go to armatures and name it there then again go to your actions and name it there it seems redundant but this is hugely important it's one of the biggest solutions you can find when you import another one rename it both in actions and in armatures and back layers name it again now you can see both animations here the one with the skin is going to be my primary armature that I'll use so now I can delete this armature again I'll only see one armature in both locations but it's still there under blender file so you have to delete it there as well now I'm going to pull open an NLA editor and I'll also pull up an, an action editor. Here you're going to see both actions. And this is where we'll edit them. The first one will appear up here and it's attached to the armature. Push it down into an NLA strip. Select the edit action button. And you'll see that it creates some temporary keyframes in the NLA editor. Now set a location keyframe only. Hit the X and that saves it. Now you can hit Shift A over on the left and then again in the NLA editor and select your new action here. You can move these up or down, but sometimes that creates other problems, sort of like this one here. They both have a hold on them, so make sure that the hold is turned off. So the first one, the primary, its point of origin is at the XYZ axis, but it walks off. And so I'm going to align my playhead with the end of that NLA track. I'm going to add a mesh, and it's just going to be a temporary square or plane that I'm going to put right at the end of her toes. This will tell me where the next NLA track needs to occur. Now I'll slide that one over. I'll select the armature, go back to the action editor, and select that particular action. And you'll see the point of origin is on XYZ. I'll grab all the keyframes and slide them to where the playhead is. You can see up in the NLA editor that all the keyframes land there. Then I will move her to the correct location. I'll hit a location keyframe and then save it again. Now when I move my playhead, she should start and end, or end and start, at the same position. Now for the top one, I'm just going to do a blend out so that she goes from walking to idle. Problem number two is this cross your arms thing. This is because of one simple thing. One of your armatures has a T pose and one of them has an A pose. It may not be obvious. So if you go to the action editor and I have both armatures here, I haven't deleted them yet. Go to pose mode and clear transform and you'll see which one is in the T and which one is in the A. This one in the A has targeted animations from the T pose, so it winds up crossing the arms over because her arms are starting down. So my recommendation is just to delete everything except for that armature. Make sure it's deleted in both locations. Save it as an FBX file. 
Make sure just your armature and mesh are selected and use your path mode set to copy. Make sure to turn off bake animation and export it. Now when you import it to Mixamo, it should load. You might need to set chin, groin, elbows, and all of those points. And when you re-import them into Blender, you'll see that they work both as A poses and you'll be able to create something cool like this. Okay, the last problem. You're gonna re-import everything and you're gonna be sloppy about your layers and you're not gonna rename them and you're just gonna delete that one armature just like you see in the videos and then you're gonna open up all your NLA tracks and add them the way they do in the video and then you're gonna go and try and edit one of them to set its location into a different place. Maybe you'll use the location rotation keyframe setting and boom, it's big. The easiest way to fix that is just use the instructions I did in the beginning of the video.